Hello and welcome to our video on statistical process control or SPC analysis using Excel. In my other three videos in this series, I showed you how to find the X bar in R chart, how to find the center line upper control limit, and how to figure out or let Excel figure out if there is any value beyond the lower or the upper control limit. And we had another video on C chart and one on P chart. In this video, I will show you how to construct an actual run chart in Excel. For that, I need the data, in this case, the proportion that we calculated. It could be the X bar, could be the R chart, whatever chart you have. So the actual data, I need the upper control limit, the center line, which is the P bar in this case, and the upper control limit, which we calculated earlier over here. So if you have, need to see how we found all of this, watch the video on how to create a P chart. To do the run chart, the actual chart, I need all these data and I need to fill in this with the same value because this will display the line. Otherwise it will display only one point if I don't have all these data. Now I'm gonna select all of these, go to insert, and choose line chart, the first one. And you can see now that Excel, the blue line is the proportions, the gray line is the center line, and the yellow line is the upper control limit, the orange line is the lower control limit. But it doesn't display this point. So to do that, I'm just going to click on the chart here, then right to click and go to Format Data Series. And I'm going to go to the first option over here, select Markers, select Marker Options, and choose Automatic. You can change the color or the type, whatever you want. You can change the line. We don't care about all of that. That's up to you later on. And here we go. So now I have the data, the points. I can see that I have a point above the upper control line, which is over here. And I have a point slightly below the lower control line. And I can check for the other rules, simply the run of eight points all above, consecutively above or below the center line, for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, the eight is above the center line. So the rule is not violated. The same here, one, two, three, four, five, which we couldn't do with the looking only at the upper or the lower control limit. So all you have to do is write the data value here, put the lower, center, and upper control line, fill it in with the same value, select everything and choose the insert line chart from Excel. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos on statistics, quantitative method in SPC control charts using Excel and SPSS.